Virologists throughout New York are now required to inform the state if the number of COVID-19 cases surpasses 100. Governor Cuomo making that announcement today. He also says those colleges and universities may have to transition to remote learning to keep students and staff safe. Joining us now via Skype is Dr. Daniel Lemons. He's the president of Lehman College, which is the only CUNY senior college in the Bronx. Dr. Lemons, thanks for being here with us. Great to be with you. Yeah, so give us an update on what's happening at Lehman College. What percentage is remote versus in person? It's, uh, we started out with the plan to be about 90% remote, but we actually, uh, when we looked, went through all our courses, we've ended up at actually over 98%. In fact, of over 3,000 classes that we're offering, we just have 26 that are on campus to some degree. So that means only at any given time, 25 to 30 students on a campus that normally uh, has about 15,000 students on and off campus in the course of a week. Yeah, so you decided along with CUNY that it wasn't worth the risk, I assume, to have the thousands of students there in the Bronx? We had two priorities. The first one is safety and health. and. Of course, like everyone else in New York State, we watched this very closely starting uh, really at the end of February. And as we moved through the spring, it looked very likely that we would have to have a remote fall. And so we started planning early and we decided early that that's what we would do so that we could get prepared for it. So uh, we had a lot of training for students and faculty and got together both the resources, the digital resources, but also for students, the hardware resources. We had many students who did not really have laptops that were sufficient. We've got over a thousand loaner laptops out at this point. Also students uh, did not have necessarily good access to broadband even if they had a laptop. So we are now in the process of getting hotspots, Wi-Fi hotspots to students. Probably we'll have about 500 or so of those out this fall term. So we've, wow. you know, we've done the, done, the, done the preparation and we continue to monitor and make sure students can actually do their curriculum. Yes, the pandemic really exposed the digital divide. I want to talk about that in a moment, but first, you wrote a very interesting op-ed in the New York Daily News just a few days ago called A Tale of Two Types of Colleges, and you warned, don't use coronavirus to smear low-cost schools that serve low-cost students. Explain what you meant by that. If you look at what's happening in the coverage of colleges and universities around the country, what, particularly in the national arena, what you see is a lot of discussion around the more elite and flagship universities and colleges around the country. And those are colleges where families and students might be paying up to 50, 60, $70,000 a year in tuition for those colleges. When those colleges go online, those families and those parents and those students ask questions. They say, why are we paying the same amount? They, they, they raise kind of the question of the value proposition. And I just wanted to make sure that we're not confusing that kind of college and university with those colleges and university like the CUNY schools and many other state universities and colleges around the country that serve the, really the majority of college students. And what we offer is a quality education, but not at that very high price. And so for us to educate a student for full time for years, $16,000, that's the actual cost to Lehman College. And so the cost is low, very much lower in comparison, and the value remains very high. In fact, the value, whether we're talking about COVID online or we're talking about just normal times before COVID, the value of a CUNY education is very high. And so the investment that students and taxpayers through New York State and to some degree the federal government put into that education is worth every penny. And that's the point I wanted to make. Okay. Yes, and I just have a few seconds, but as you noted, the digital divide was exposed with this pandemic. What lessons are learned? First of all, I think that it's so important that we recognize that it exists. And if you look at a, a broadband map of New York City, 
particularly in the Bronx, who see that it's, it's really very low access. What we've learned is that's dangerous for us. That puts, puts the residents of the Bronx and other parts of the city with that low access to broadband at risk, particularly for their, their children and students who need now to access courses. But there are lots of other ways that broadband access is important for the way our lives function. And so to not have that broad access and to have that wide gulf, that wide digital divide is a problem that we have to address. And that has to be addressed now. We're, we're doing what we can in the moment to address it, but there has to be a much larger systemic solution to that. Okay, Dr. Daniel Lemons, president of Lehman College in the Bronx, appreciate your time. Thank you so much.